name of Assembly Member Jones. Thank you, Chair. Um, I don't often agree with the Mayor, but I do think uh, when he says that banks in London can play a very positive role, he is absolutely right. They can invest in businesses, they can finance new infrastructure, and they can facilitate all the work of the GLA group. So they are incredibly important. But too many banks today actually exert a negative influence. In recent years, they've failed to invest in where investment is most needed, in small and medium-sized enterprises, SMEs. And in fact, lending to SMEs dropped 6% last year and is expected to drop another 5% in 2012. That means that banks are rejecting too many applications for finance. Bank of England figures show that high street banks rejected 38% of applications from SMEs in the first quarter of 2012. So in fact what's happening is that banks continue to invest in damaging projects because without our deregulated banks there could be no fossil fuel extraction, no destruction of in indigenous people's livelihoods, no soil degradation. Without them, there could have been no casino speculation, out-of-control bonuses, and aggressive tax avoidance that led to the economic crash. Without our deregulated banks, governments with a record of very poor human rights, in fact, human rights abuses, corruption and warmongering, would be penniless and therefore powerless. Now, the current mayor has not only given these banks his unquestioning support in recent years, he's also put one bank's name over two high-profile transport projects. And that bank, Barclays, has since been dragged through scandals, including its systematic fixing of the LIBOR rate, its tax avoidance, its mis-selling of payment protection insurance, its excessive bonuses, its many court cases over very dodgy investments, its excessive risk-taking in the face of warnings from the FSA, and its industrial-scale mis-selling of interest rate swaps to SMEs. Now, in February, this Assembly looked at the danger of reputational damage with such sponsorship and recommended that the Mayor adopt criteria for suitable sponsors. Now, with this motion, I'm proposing that the Mayor could go further with respect to banks, in particular using the GLA responsible procurement approach to encourage and reward better behaviour. The responsible procurement policy aims to get better outcomes from all the money that we spend and to influence wider procurement practice in London and business practice. The policy aims to nurture commercial partnerships with organisations who share our values, to encourage a positive contribution from suppliers on our local communities, and to avoid companies that actually support harmful practices such as facilitating the trade in arms and tobacco. Now, there's no reason why the GLA and the functional bodies can't ask banks about their track record when tendering for services. Ken Livingston designed the policy with this in mind, and the Mayor's office itself, the current Mayor's office, has continued to push at the boundaries to encourage good practice. The GLA itself must ultimately comply with procurement laws, but, of course, that doesn't stop us trying to lead by example. And I've been asking the Mayor about this for some time, and can reveal that the GLA group spent £35 million in fees to banks over four years. Now, that's probably not very much uh, for the banks. It's quite a lot for the average Londoner. It's not very much for the banks. But moving our money would add the voice of the Mayor of London to the clamour for banking reform. Half a million people in the UK have moved their money to ethical alternatives such as co-ops and mutuals since the campaign started. And they recently got backing from an unlikely source. Andy Haldane, who's currently the Bank of England's Executive Director for Financial Stability and a contender for the top job at the bank, said, if as bank customers we want to change the culture of banking, then we should start by supporting those banks who are delivering that change. Putting your money where your mouth is would deliver far greater and more durable change than any amount of banker bashing. So no comments, please, about this being tokenistic. This is actually promoting our ideals. I hope the Assembly will add its voice to that call for the Mayor to deal with banks that are contributing to the prosperity of London. Thank you.